We are taking outside six a y six a y square minus three a minus x square a minus x square. Now y cancel with y two three z. So outside is pi upon three a pi upon three a. So pi upon 3 is outside when you simplify it you can open and simplify it you will get 3a minus x into a plus x whole so when we are taking outside 0 to 3a it gives 3a minus x into a plus x dx just few more stop we have to integrate it with respect to x applying the limit we will get the solution and the solution is s surface area of revolution is equal to 3 pi a square 3 pi a square s is equal to so this is the complete solution for surface area of revolution about Cartesian coordinate you just multiply it this terms gives 3a square 3ax then minus of ax then x square and just integrate apply the limit 0 to 3a just you will get this okay next we discuss one more problem of surface area of revolution that is for polar curve again there for polar curve there is a one cardroid if we revolve that cardroid according the axis find the area of the surface of the surface of the solid generated by revolving upper half of cardroid upper half of cardroid R is equal to A1 minus cos theta given curve is R is equal to about initial line initial line is theta is equal to 0 so we have to revolve about the initial line for initial line step 1 we have to recall the our formula for surface of revolution about the initial line for polar curve s is equal to limit going from theta 1 to theta 2 integration of 2 pi y y is r sin theta so 2 pi r sin theta under root of r square plus dr by d theta whole square integrate with respect to theta so this is our formula so what we have to need we need limit of theta and after that dr by d theta okay so first we have to derive these two things then put in the formula so this is you know this is a cardroid when you plot this r is equal to a 1 minus cos theta this is minus so comes this side upper half if upper half revolve initial line is this initial line is theta this line so but this is so theta you see theta is here 0 theta is equal to 0 but then revolve about the here so theta is equal to pi correct so theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to pi theta is varied from 0 to pi so first we have to find out the limit theta is equal to theta 1 theta 1 is 0 in this question theta is equal to theta 2 theta is 2 is pi second thing we have to find out the dr by d theta ok so I have to derive dr by d theta if r is equal to a 1 minus of cos theta then dr 
upon d theta differentiate with respect to theta. So dr by d theta is a is constant 1 so it gives 0 minus of a cos theta gives minus a of minus sin theta minus minus gives plus so a sin theta. Now what is ds by d theta? ds by d theta is under root of r square plus dr by d theta whole square. So we have to derive this here also r square means a square 1 minus cos theta whole square plus a square sin square theta. Okay, so now you have to a square taking outside, just a coming out. 1 minus cos theta is, 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2. You know sin square theta by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 2. So, 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2. Similarly, this sin 2 theta, you know sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta. Then sin theta, if we want this of sin theta by 2, then 2 of sin theta cos 2 of sin theta by 2 cos. So sin theta is 2 of sin theta by 2 cos of theta by 2. We have to convert both in theta by 2. So our new expression for ds by d theta is equal to under root a coming outside. This is 2 sin square theta by 2 whole square. Because 1 minus cos theta is this. Plus sin square theta by 2. So this gives 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 whole square because this gives just sin theta. Now our theta a sin theta by 2. Now substitute in our required formula s theta going from 0 to pi 2 pi y. y is r cos r sin theta ds by d theta is 2a sin theta this r 0 to pi 2 pi r is equal to what? a 1 minus cos theta Again, this sin theta, then this 2a sin theta by 2 into d theta. Just merging constant taking outside 2 pi a and 2a is 4 pi a square 0 to pi. This goes next 1 minus cos theta we write 2 sin square theta by 2. Sin theta right 2 sin theta by 2 cos of theta by 2 and sin theta by 2 d theta. Okay, so again this 2 and this 2 goes outside. So this gives 16 pi a square 0 to pi. This gives sin square cube and 4. So sin 4 theta by 2 cos theta by 2 d theta. Clear? Now just integrate it and surface area for this is equal to when you integrate it you will get the required solution surface area equal to 36 pi a square by 5 for this given polar curve, polar cardroid if we revolve about initial line then we will get this area of solid generated. Okay, thank you very much. This is all about the surface area of revolution. For this you just remember the formulas then just solve it you can easily get. Okay, thank you.